In this tutorial, we will see how to set up simple CI-CD process using Jenkins declarative pipeline. Our pipeline is going to have three stages, source, build, package and deploy. We already have Jenkins running for deploying to a Tomcat. I want to launch new instance. Let's launch new instance in Amazon. Let's add meaningful tags. Let's call this one a Tomcat Development Environment. A security group. Uh, let me select existing security group which allows all traffic. Security group is firewall in Amazon. Launch it. And I have existing key pair. Select that. Launch instance. Go to that instance now. Once it is in running stage, log into that instance. Make sure Tomcat is installed. Yeah, Tomcat is up and running. Let's SSH into this. I have opened my terminal. I am using SSH. I am pointing to the credentials which is on my uh, downloads. Username is EC2 user and the public IP of Tomcat server. For installing and running Tomcat, Java is required. Let me check if Java is installed. It says no Java, right? So let's go ahead and install Java first. So I want to get the package name for Java. So I'm using m list and grep on that list. All right, so I want to install Java. So take that package name. install it all right now let's check java so java is installed inside user bin java now i want to download tomcat let's go to a browser and find the link to download tomcat tomcat download i want Tomcat 8 under binary distributions I want to pick tar file right click right click and copy link address so I want to keep my Tomcat inside opt let's use sudo wcat and paste the link all right we got that tar file Again, use sudo uh, extract that file. So it is extracted. Even I want to rename this uh, file which is extracted. Let's rename that to Tomcat 8. And feel free to remove this star file which is not required anymore then I want to change permissions on my Tomcat 8 right now uh, root user is the one for this folder I want to recursively change ownership to my Tomcat folder new user is ec2 user and new group is ec2 user i'm doing that recursively it does the ownership change for my tomcat 8 and all its subfolders and subfiles let's do long listing and check it's updated it's updated now in order to start tomcat go into tomcat home and bin 
callstartup.sh which starts Tomcat and by default Tomcat listens on 8080. Let's take public IP of Tomcat. 8080. If you see this page, your Tomcat is successfully installed and it is running. Now let's uh, continue writing our declarative pipeline script. This I have demonstrated in previous video, which covers two stages. Check out Maven build. The next stage is to deploy. So I want to take the package which is created in previous stage and copy that package to remote Tomcat machine. In order to copy files from Jenkins to remote Tomcat machine, we have plugins like SSH agent. Go to Jenkins home, manage Jenkins, manage plugins, click on available yeah let's get this ssh hn plugin click on uh, install without restart now get back to home page open our uh, uh, pipeline code so at the same time i want to open our job where we're going to execute that pipeline plus the pipeline syntax so go and search for ssh agent okay and you need to select the username password for connecting to tomcat so this is my old configuration but i want to still show you how to add credentials to tomcat to repeat from Jenkins, we want to connect to Tomcat. For that, we need username and password. Go to add. It is not username with password. It is SSH username with private key. I'll call this Tomcat new. Tomcat new, okay. Username is easy to user. I have private key on my laptop so this is my file which is under downloads copy this text so add and click add yeah so we got that tomcat new so generate pipeline script right so take this code Use it here. So it's going to point to the username password which is stored in Jenkins credentials with this ID. And inside this, I want to use uh, sh step. So let me use scripts in multiple line. For multiple lines, we use triple quotes there. And also, I want to show you this. Click on help. This is basic usage of uh, SSH agent. Okay, so what I want to do is so I'm saying strict host key checking no because when Jenkins tries to SSH into Tomcat first time there is going to be a prompt and it is not in interactive mode so I'm keeping otherwise I'm suppressing that prompt with strict host key checking now I don't want to use SSH 
I want to use SCP secure copy and I need to pick the war file from current machine which is created here so in the same maven build stage I want to rename that file usually war file name contains a version like if application name is online so online I find some version followed by war So Maven keeps war files inside target folder from current workspace target and I'm using regular expression which is star file name can be anything but the extension is war. So move I mean rename that file to myweb.war it's going to rename the war file which contains name followed by version into a simple name which is myweb.war so I'm using SCP to copy files from local to remote the location where this file present in my local workspace and I need to provide the remote server details there Username is ec2 user at the rate the IP address of uh, Tomcat. So this time I can use private IP because Jenkins and Tomcat they are running in same network. They can communicate using private IPs. So on that machine, the location where I want to copy my war file is. Tomcat 8 web apps so OPT Tomcat 8 is the home location of Tomcat web apps is deployment directory for Tomcat if you want to deploy applications on Tomcat keep that war file under web apps after copying war file I want to restart my Tomcat to run commands on remote machine we use SSH space pt Tomcat 8 bin shutdown.sh which stops tomcat startup.sh which starts tomcat so we are good to go commit this file go to our pipeline Jenkins job click on configure so this job is already pointing to the repository this repository and it's pointing to Jenkins declarative gate Jenkins declarative gate when I run this job it pulls this script from SEM that is a gate it will do checkout it will do maven build followed by it's going to deploy the application onto Tomcat let me save and let me build it got failed let's see why it got failed okay we missed something there yeah, we forgot to wrap our SSH agent inside steps
ओके सो कमिट एंड रीबिल्ड द जॉब We got exception. Yes, H H command. Okay, we have typo. So edit. It is S S H, not S H H. Come in the code and build it. All right. It seems our job got executed successfully. Let's take public IP of Tomcat. We're already there. Our WAR file name is MyWeb. So hit MyWeb. Again, we see some issue. Let's log into uh, Tomcat Linux box and see. So I am in the terminal of Tomcat. Let's go to the location where Tomcat is installed. So web apps, right? I see war file copied, and the folder name is my web. Let me check if something is wrong in the deployment. So opt Tomcat logs. So open this Catalina file and see if there are any exceptions. So it, there is info. Okay, my web startup failed due to previous errors. I doubt if it is because of uh, uh, JDK we have JVM installed that may troubleshoot in offline and come back. I found the issue. The issue is not with our process. The issue is because of uh, the changes in web.xml. So I was demonstrating how to troubleshoot applications if it fails in some other video. So I left it as it is, that's causing issue. So what I do is, let's go to SRC main uh, web app. We have uh, webinf web.xml. So this is causing issue. Let me edit that. So I'm fixing it. Commit the change. After committing the change, Let's go back and uh, rerun the code. Now we see success message again. Of course, yeah. Now the application is uh, successfully deployed. Thanks for watching and see you in next video.